Hello everybody and welcome to the second Farming Simulator 22 Garage Tour. So we progressively get larger. These are all the medium tractors. Starting from this end, gradually getting bigger as we keep going up this way. And obviously the Deutz Far at the far end is the last tractor in the medium tractor category before we go into the large tractors. There we go. So we are going to start at this end and all the tractors that you see here are not configured with any of their extras so no front loader attaches uh, all the standard engine and uh, of course things like uh, the wheels all the standard wheels but there are plenty of different wheel brands to choose from so we start off with the massey ferguson 6713 this is a tractor starting at 122,000 pounds the 6700 series and it has a dyna 6 gearbox so what we're going to do first of all is just jump into it we'll take a look at the interior and then I'm going to show you the store page for it. And then the plan is just to take it for a lap around the block once. So here we go, you can change the wheel brands. There's plenty of wheel brands to choose from. As you can see, I'm cycling through them. And you can add rear weights. Uh, you can add uh, wider tires, twin tires. I'll just demonstrate the twins. There we go. So lots that you can do with this. Uh, you can also add a front loader attacher. There's two different brands, as you can see there. And then the engine setup, you can go between 150 and 200 horsepower. So there is the 6713, the 6714, 15, 16, and finally 18. And you can also add a license plate if you'd like to. So here we go. Let's take it for a quick drive. Put the beacons on, put a few lights on. There's just enough space to get around here. If there's one more tractor in this category, we would have to go a different way. Okay, there we go. Go back to first person. And next up, we have a fence. So this is the Fence 714 Vario. Prices for this tractor start at £162,000. There is the interior view. Okay, and the different configurations, again, we can choose from lots of different wheel brands and all the different wheel setups, which we're not gonna keep going through because most tractors you can do this on, not all of them, but most. Uh, you can add a front loader attacher and you can go between 150 horsepower and 246 horsepower. Plenty of models in between. And you can add a license plate. So, take it for a quick drive. Of course, there are indicators as well. Just demonstrate those. The lights. And we'll back it into here and we'll move on to the next tractor, which is the Massey Ferguson. 3670. So it's an older tractor from the 90s. This one seems to be in very good condition though. So since it is older, it is cheaper. It costs £97,000. The base price. And this is actually one of the starting tractors on Elm Creek and on the European map, which I won't keep trying to pronounce because I'm not very good at pronouncing it. Okay, let's take a look at it in here. So again, wheel brands, wheel setup. You can add a front loader to it if you'd like to. And also a license plate. This tractor is 170 horsepower. And you can actually see the gear stick being shifted. We have the range and we have each gear. From third person view, you can see the driver doing this. Okay, so next up, we have a Zeta tractor. Just reverse this back into here. Try and make a gap between them. Right, so this is the Zeta Crystal 170 HD. For this tractor, prices start at £130,000. 
Giants FM. Very shiny bonnet. Okay, and now take a look in here. You can change the wheel brand, wheel setup. You can add a front loader, as with most of them. And of course, a license plate. This tractor is 171 horsepower. So there it is, the Zeta Crystal. Just pop it back over here. Next up we have a John Deere. Okay, so this is the John Deere 7810. Again, it's an older tractor from the 90s. And this tractor, with it being older, is again cheaper than the brand new models. Prices for this start at £99,500. So you can choose a wheel brand, wheel setup, you can add a front loader, and a license plate. This is a 175 horsepower tractor. So let's take it for a spin. Next up we have another Massey Ferguson. Okay, so this is the Massey Ferguson 7700 series, the 7715S, with a Dyna VT transmission. Let's just jump into it. Here's the interior view. And prices for this tractor start at £145,000. We can go between 175 horsepower and 220. There's several models in between. Uh, you can change the wheel brand and you can add a front loader. And license plate is pretty much default with everything, so it's probably not even worth mentioning it. There it is. And next up we have another John Deere. This is again an older one, the John Deere 4755. I can see this being very popular. Okay, so again because of its age, it means that it's not quite as expensive as a brand new model. Let's just jump into it. Here's the interior view. Prices for this start at £108,500. It is a 190 horsepower tractor. So it is still quite expensive, but not as expensive as a modern equivalent. So you can change the wheel brand, wheel setup, and for this one you can't put a front loader on it. It's always worth noting down the bottom right hand corner, you can see the gearbox. So you can see the gears and the range. We also have lights, as with most tractors. I think it's probably more uh, worthwhile showing the lights on these older ones. Because they do seem very unique in some cases. At these four lights over the top. Okay, and here is the interior view whilst driving. Okay, right, so next we have another 1990s tractor. This is a Valtra Valmet 8750. So I believe this is pretty much the equivalent to that John Deere there. Yes, they are both £108,500 with the same horsepower. So here is the Valtra Valmet. You can put a front loader on this one. You can change the wheels. You can change the colour. You can have any configuration you would like here. You can change the rim colour between black, white and silver. And yeah, as I already said, 190 horsepower. Here is the interior view. Let's 
Let's take you for a drive. Okay, next up we have the McCormick X7 620. Prices for this tractor start at £170,500. There is the interior view. Let's take a look in the store. So you can change the wheel brand, wheel setup. You can put a front loader on here. The engine ranges from 190 to 240 horsepower. And the main colour can be changed between standard and special. You can also change the rim colour between black and the grey. I think it's now best to start taking it all the way around here every time. Then we'd have to reverse back into our spot. So we're probably about halfway through. Next up, we have a class tractor, the Class Axion 800. So you can see they are physically getting much bigger now. The C-Matic. Prices for this tractor start at £185,000. So let's take a look at it in the store. You can choose a different wheel brand, wheel setup. The design, we have EU and US. So it's changing a few things about it. It looks like the most noticeable changes are the lights on the side here. They stick out further in the EU. Also the fenders, the mud guards, also stick out further. Let's go to the back. Yep, also we have the addition of these flashes up here for US and the warning triangle. And let's just see the roof. Yes, we also have a window in the roof for the US version. So the horsepower range from 205 to 295 horsepower. And we do have several models in between. This, of course, is the EU version. Next up, we have another Massey Ferguson. We have the Massey Ferguson 7720 Dyna 6. I should say the 7720S. Prices for this tractor start at £199,500. You can choose a different wheel brand, wheel setup. You can add a front loader attached to it. And the engine horsepower range from 225 to 280 horsepower. Okay, next up we have another Massey Ferguson, the 8S. This is the brand new 8S, it's been the 205, but this it actually goes into the 300s. Prices for this start at £202,000. As mentioned, the horsepower starts at 225 and the biggest is 325 We have several different options in between. You can also fit a front loader and the wheel brands. Different wheel setup. Okay. Interior view. This tractor looks very futuristic.
After this we have a JCB tractor. So this is the JCB 4220. The fast track. Prices start at £216,500. You can put a front loader on it. You can change the wheel setup and the wheel brands. 235 horsepower. After this we have our first Deutzfahr. So this is the Deutzfahr 7250 TTV HD Agrotron. The price for this starts at £221,500. Yep, you can tell we're getting bigger just by listening to the price. So let's just take a look at that in the store. It's a long way down the line. Uh, you can change the configuration completely. Uh, <laughs> this means that we can add different colors. It is the warrior configuration. So you get a different badge. Yep, that completely changes the look of the tractor. Looks like we might have chrome on the exhaust pipe here. So the colours, you obviously get this default black colour, but you can still have green. And the rim, you can have black or grey. You can add a front loader, and of course you can change the wheel setup. It's also 247 horsepower. This one has strobes. Strobe beacons. Let's just put the lights on. We then have another McCormick. This is the McCormick X8 627 VT Drive. A very chunky looking thing. Prices start at £220,000. You can change the wheel brand, wheel setup, and the engine horsepower ranges from 264 to 310. The main colour can be standard or the special again. Rim, grey or black. Here is the interior view. Okay, third person view. Next up we have a New Holland. This is the New Holland T7 275 HD. We only have a few tractors left. Prices for this start at £227,500. That's an interesting display in the centre of the steering wheel. It doesn't move with the steering wheel. So with this you can change the wheel brand, wheel setup, and the engine horsepower range from 273 to 313. And there are several horsepower variances in between. Okay, let's drive this. After the New Holland we have a John Deere. This is the John Deere 6230R. Prices start at £233,500. And you can change the wheel brand, the wheel setup, you can add a front loader, and the engine horsepower range is from 280 
to 300 horsepower. Right, let's take this one for a spin. You can really get to see how many tractors there are, and if you include all the variances, so all the different models in each range, uh, it would absolutely fill this yard. Put some lights on. Okay, and finally, we have the Deutzfahr. The Beast, the 8280 TTV Agrotron. That is big, and it's still classed as a medium tractor. Prices start at £236,000. You can change the wheel brand, and you can change the wheel setup. It is a 287 horsepower tractor. Put all the lights on, put the beacons on, and again we have the strobe lights. And that concludes today's garage tour. It was the medium tractors. So next time I'll be featuring all the large tractors, and then I'm hoping to do other stuff as well. Trailers, implements. It just depends how much time I get, because I'm trying to get loads of Let's Plays done as well. But there we go, I hope you enjoyed it, the medium tractors in FS22. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, see you again very soon. Bye for now.